Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're being challenged to find some of the missing angles, the angles that were not given to us. We have a rather complicated structure here. We're told that these two angles are equal to one another at 21 degrees. These two angles are equal to one another at 50 degrees. And these are two right angles. Now they're asking us to find the value for angle A, the angle B, and the angle C. Let's start with the angle C because you can see that 21 degrees and C are supplementary angles. That means that they should add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that 21 degrees plus C is equal to 180 degrees. So that means C is equal to 180 degrees minus 21 degrees. So e is e C is equal to 159 degrees. So that gives us the first angle. Now the next two are a little bit more difficult to find. Sometimes it helps to subdivide an angle. We can draw an angle, uh, not an angle, but a line that's parallel to the base of this big triangle right here. And so you can see that this side right here should be parallel to this side. So we have this angle here, which means that this angle here must be the same angle. These two angles must be congruent because we have two parallel lines. We cut the parallel lines by a single line here, which means that this angle and this angle, which are the two small angles that are what they call alternate interior angles, they must be equal, which means that this must be a 21 degree angle. Since this whole angle is 50 degrees and this one is 21 degrees, that means that this angle here, oops, and I don't know how many lines I should draw. I'll just draw the two lines here. This angle here should be 50 minus 21 or 29 degrees. Now that we have that angle, take a look here. We have the angle A here, which has a parallel line here, which is parallel to this line. And then we have this line right here, which is the same line for both of these two triangles. So we have this triangle right here. We have this triangle right here. So A is equal to this triangle that's 29 degrees, which means that A must be 29 degrees as well. Again, this line here is parallel to this line, and then the other side of the angle is the same, same line for both of these two angles. So this 29 degrees must be equal to this 29 degrees. So now we need to find angle B. Well, since this is parallel to this, we could say that this is a 90 degree angle. And if we take this triangle right in here, we have, a, we have a 29 degree angle, we have a 90 degree angle, and we have the angle B. And the three angles should add up to 180 degrees, the angles of any triangle. So we can say that we have 29 degrees plus the right angle here, which is 90 degrees, plus B must add up the, the three angles of a triangle, which add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that B is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 29 degrees. So that's 90 minus 29, which is 61 degree. So that means B is 61 degrees, C is 159 degrees, and A is 29 degrees. And that's how we find the missing angles on this big triangle. That's how it's done.